Hello. I know you can grow leeks in yogurt pots because I've done it. I know you can grow onions in yogurt pots because I've done it. What I don't know is can you grow mushrooms in yoghurt pots because I've never done it and I've never seen it done but I'm going to give it a go. Let me show you what we've got here. This yoghurt pot has soil in it. This yoghurt pot has a mixture of soil and coir in it and this yoghurt pot has some coir in it. So we're going to be starting three yoghurt pots today and we're going to put some mushroom compost in there. And the mushroom compost is compost that's left over from a project I started a few days ago. And I thought, yeah, why not? Why not give it a go? You've got some mushroom compost left. Why not give it a go? So what I'm looking to do is, is to take a couple of inches out of each of these, pop some mushroom compost in, put the fill back on top, give it a spray of water and that's it. Not much more than that. I'll tell you what, yeah, let me move these out the way for starters, all of these, and let me show you this. That's that mushroom compost. I don't know if you can see the flecks of white in there, I think that's the mushroom spores. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to split it into three equal piles and then we're going to charge the yoghurt pots. They look about equal. Well, they're equal enough for me. Right, which one should we do first? Doesn't matter really. What we've got here soil and coir. So that's a mix. Now, take some out. Like that. We're going to pop this in like that. We're going to give it a squirt with water like that. We're going to pop this soil coir mix back on top like that and just a gentle firm. Hi Meg. Meg's in the kitchen with me and um, we'll give it another squirt for look. And we'll pop the ticket in. And I think that needs to be in a room that's nearly touching 20 degrees C. So they're not going outdoors, they're staying indoors. Um, but I'm hoping that in a week's time you're going to be looking at mushrooms here. But I don't know that you will be. I do not. Right, what's this? Oh. This is coir. 
There's the mushroom compost. There's the coir. Let's give it a little. Oh, we didn't give that a squirt, did we? Ah, slipped up. Well, I'm not taking it out. I'll just give you double dose. Hi, Meg. Meg keeps putting a rope up on the table. I don't know if you can see it. There, we'll give that one double dose. Meg, you're distracting me. <laughs> it's Meg's rope. And that's Meg scutting around the kitchen. Right, last one. What's this one? Soil. Remind me on the spray it. Okay, there's the compost going in. That's it. Let's give it a spray. Put the soil back on the top. Just give it a, a gentle, not too much pressure there. I'll give it another. And we'll put the ticket in. Now, what we're going to do to try and make sure these don't dry out. Hey, poop bags, Molly. Uh, poop Molly. <laughs> Meg, I need to use some of your poop bags. I've just put the fire on the living room. You're not going to see Daisy. Right. We'll just stand those to one side like that where it's just shy of 20 degrees C and in a few days hopefully I'll have them back on this table and we'll do a reveal. We're quite excited. <laughs> I am. Are you Meg? Are you excited? Which is wagging the tail. Last one. Them down a bit further. Who's your money on? What do you reckon? Will any of these work? I honestly don't know. I've never done this before. Never. Never. I've grown mushrooms with kits, but I've never sort of made my own kit. Right. One, two, three. Let's see how they go.
Hello. How many days has it been since we started this experiment? I have no idea. Why is that? Because I started to lose interest. Why is that? Because I was looking every day and nothing and nothing. Um, but then yesterday something caught my eye. I thought I'd best make this uh, clip a video uh, and show you what's happening. So this this is soil, as you can see, nothing, nothing to see, as you can see, nothing to see, yeah, so we've got nothing showing in the soil, this is Koya, see this little guy, now he came up at least a week ago and he's got no bigger and I don't think he will, and there were some smaller pins um, in this yoghurt pot but they haven't developed either so imagine my surprise when I saw this one uh, a day or two ago wow can you see that can you see how that soil coir mix has been lifted there's something pushing up underneath that got to be and let me show you this first. Can you see those? There are some pins there. They've been there for a while and they don't look as though they want to develop. But when we look underneath here, I can see a button mushroom. Yeah, I can. I can see a button mushroom. It's developed well below the mix level and it's pushing the mix up. And to be honest, I'm not too sure what to do with this. Not that I'm going to get um, a crop of mushrooms out of this you know I'm not going to get get a meal out of this it was just out of interest to see if it would if I could make it work let me see if I can pull this back see if you can see I'm not too sure whether I should just remove this so will it lift off oh yes I didn't know I'd be able to do that now you'll be able to see it can you see it now that mushroom <laughs> Our first button mushroom in a soil coir mix. Does that mean we're going to get some more? Does it? Blimey. I'm not too sure whether I should be leaving this off or not. What do you think? I wish you could I wish you could advise me. Now I'm putting it back on. I'll just pop it on like that. We'll pop it on like that and see how it goes. So, we've managed to grow one button mushroom in a yoghurt pot. I wonder if we can manage to grow some more. There's only one way to find out. The experiment continues. This is Homegrown Veg, signing out.